Hello beautiful people. On this video we are going to learn about Git. And this is not a Git course in any ways, but this kind of knowledge is extremely important on your development career and it's not just for Flutter. Anything that you're going to uh, develop or anytime you work as a develop as a developer, most likely you're going to work on a team with other developers and your projects are going to be on Git on GitHub, on Bitbucket, GitLab and so many other providers right so uh, I'll just give you the basic knowledge so that you guys can start with this let's start by going to Google and trying to write what's git and see what they tell us if we zoom up here if we, if we zoom a bit here we'll see that they say git is a distributed version control system for tracking changes in source code during software development and it's basically that right it's like uh, it's a way of taking snapshots of your project in a specific instant instance of time right so you code you save your projects on a git repo right and constantly when you feel like you did enough for the day or you, you completed a feature you can just commit the changes or create a snapshot of that of the project on that particular time and you can still develop and you can continue developing and let's imagine you face an error in the future you can go back to that old version you saved right uh, so going straight to it we are going to use github let me just create a new incognito here and github the good thing about github is that it's free and um, it's widely used right so here's where we are going to save our projects if you don't have one you are going to have to create your account here on github and if you do have one great that's super great uh, let me create and I actually have one that I use but I'll create a different one for this course so that you guys can follow the process I'll just create the username here then Okay, created my email and sign up. They will need you to verify the account. Okay. let me try to do that right now let me open up here and probably I have okay I didn't get any message yet let's check the junk mail because sometimes it goes here okay I didn't get the email yet please solve the puzzle <laughs> it was it wasn't even hmm And that's all. Let's select a plan. And uh, you have this seven dollars a month, and they give you all of these features. But for now, we are going to stick with the free one. And that's all we need, actually. Uh. 
here depends on your experience you just select something then uh, what's your plan to use git and then it, you select what you want here I'll put host projects uh, I'm interested in flutter slash dart that's all complete setup and now we have to verify the email because it was before they sent the email so let me go and open up my email let me open my email and here I have uh, after you verify your email you will probably be redirected to this page here where you are supposed to create a repo or repository uh, basically basically a uh, repo is like imagine a repo has a folder or a directory where you are going to save your projects uh, for this particular one we are going to name it food app something like that and then here you can provide the description and all you can uh, define it as public or private I'll just leave it as public because I want you guys to be able to access this but for your projects you can put uh, private so that you are the only one who can access them and then I hit on create repo uh, we'll come into this on the next video for now let me just uh, so here we have uh, the basic structure or the, the basic way github is structured right you can see other people's repos here on your home on a home page and if you are following someone you will have the if they update the repo here you will have the notifications here uh, let me try to search let's suppose uh, for santosh I'll let me try to see that if I search for my specific okay for example I search for Santos and uh, we have couple things here let me click on this for example this project here was forked from my project or if you are looking for flutter e-commerce for example so you can come here and uh, look for search for projects marketplace where you can buy some stuff or have a look at people's codes but the most important part here is this thing because mainly you're going to work with uh, new repo and import repo but basically new repo and this is where you're going to be able to create your repos and here you can go to your profiles this will be the basic structure of your profile repos we have one food app we just created projects none and with people when people follow you you're going to see things from here so um i don't want to talk about unnecessary things so basically this is all you need to know here uh that's enough let me show you some basic commands that you need to know in order to use git well on this video I am going to teach you some basic git commands to get you going right let's start off with the command we already have here I don't know if you guys are able to see this which is git init 
what git init does it initializes your project on your local machine it creates it gets it uh, git ready if I could say it like that but basically it initializes git on your project hit that boom you have it now uh, if we go back here we have a second command which say git add readme but we don't know we don't want to add the readme file here directly so what you're going to do here is write git add dot and what uh, this command will do it's going to add all of these files inside of your project to this git repo we just created locally so they are staged and now to actually copy them there we have to use this command which is commit so commit is basically git commit uh, this hyphen m is the message because commit has to come with a message always so you write git commit then hyphen m then the message here uh, you can change this message if you want to you can write something like uh, I am just starting something like this and uh, the snapshot of your project is already created now because we don't want to have that locally because that is only on our local machine we want to connect our folder or our repo here on our local machine to github that's why we paste this command so we will uh, connect this to a remote uh, repo right you hit enter and the final thing you will want to do is to push and pushing is basically sending uh, the snapshots or the files we have here on our local machine to github okay I'm having this error which is saying that it's unable to access uh, this particular user because here I'm logged in as Santos on, on, on my machine and I'm trying to commit this to another user which I don't have the, cre the, the, the credentials to access but uh, if you run this command on your machine you're probably going to do this with no difficulties uh, let me try git login So uh, after everything is done, you probably didn't have the small issue I had on that previous video, but after everything is done, you're going to see something like this. And if you go to Git, this is the reflection of what we have on our local machine. So any changes you do here on your project, you just have to write git commit, uh, hyphen m, the message, and then push, and it's going to be reflected here. Uh, there's a small thing I would like to teach you guys before we close this chapter off which is this is the main branch this is like the heart of your project here and you don't want to be uh, committing and pushing code directly to the main branch because you can break stuff so what you usually do is you create a sub branch you work on that sub branch and after everything is tested and the sub branch is working perfectly fine you create a pull request you take the code from the sub branch and you paste that to the main branch uh, maybe that was a bit hard to understand but for example for our next video we will uh, configure uh, we'll set the project structure with providers and configure firebase so uh, what we would do is we don't want to write that code directly to the master branch so we'll create a branch you just write git check out and use this to change the branch hyphen b to create a new branch and we are going to call this 
Firebase, for example. And then we have the switch to branch Firebase. So we have our new branch here. And if we commit code on this branch, let me do something small, okay? We'll do git commit message and we'll write here this is Firebase branch. Then uh, it will say that we have some untracked files. So you'll want to do git add add everything and now we are going to commit and we have the commit and now we're going to write here git push to send this to github but since this branch is new you will have to write this command here git push set upstream and this will create our sub branch on github okay if we go to github now you'll have this notification here saying that we have a new branch card called firebase you can hit here to compare the firebase branch with what we have on our current branch and here we have exactly where I modified because I added some space here this was what we have on what we had previously and this is the modification right you see the magic of this and you can just hit on create pull request creating pull request is basically merging the new code with the code on our master branch on the main branch of the project since we don't have any conflicts whatsoever we can now merge confirm merge boom and now uh, the code which was present on our firebase is present on our main branch as well so this is what you want to do when you're building new features for your project we are going to create a different branch work on that branch test the code and when the code is working and you're sure that nothing is going to break to break you merge that code to the code present on the master branch uh, with this being said let's go straight to uh, setting our back-end structure for the app